Webster. Georgia is one of four southern states where a new Obama administration plan would allow offshore drilling. Georgia Republicans like Congressman Buddy Carter, who are frequent critics of the White House, say this move by the president they've long pushed for could bring major economic benefits to Georgia. The benefits that come from this, the royalties that, that we might derive from this in the state of Georgia, obviously it's going to create jobs, that's going to help our economy, so I see it all as good news. But the criticism came fast from environmentalists and senators from within the president's own party. They warn increased offshore drilling puts us at risk of more disasters like the BP oil spill that ravaged the Gulf Coast. It puts our beaches, our fishermen, and our environment in the crosshairs for an oil spill that could devastate our shores. Some Arctic areas of Alaska were blocked from drilling in the president's new plan, which also doesn't include the Pacific Coast and Florida. The Secretary of the Interior says the president is focusing on states where legislatures and governors have expressed support for offshore drilling. Offshore oil spills don't respect state boundaries. The offshore drilling won't start overnight. While it doesn't need congressional approval, it does still have to go through a public comment period and the Secretary of the Interior says even after the plan is approved, we won't see drilling until 2021. Reporting in Washington, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News. This just